All right, first of all, I want to give all glory to my God, Yahweh, Yahweh, Jehovah, my Jesus, Yeshua, Hamashiach, my Holy Spirit, Ruach, Kadesh. All right, in this video, um, this is the second time I had to do this because the first time on the microphone <clears throat> wasn't working. All right, so, um, but in this video, I just want to share a few things with you, um, some verses of scripture. Uh, let you know not to be deceived by these enemies out here. These things, there's so many things out here that's going on. Like, I believe, like when the Bible says, Many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. That's what I really want to focus on right now and tell you that I believe the demonic, those other demonic, the demons basically are out there doing it in people's dreams, visions, giving people, um, um, Different dreams that some may think is anointed, some may think are are blessings, um, some may look at it and see as um, something to share, when in fact it's not of God, when in fact it's of the devil. All right, and that's what you really need to like be aware of deceptions. All right. Um, I've had dreams of having of, of believing that I've seen Jesus and seeing that, I, that I've seen heaven, that I've seen a lot of things that are not of God. Um, in my opinion, um, some of it, yeah, some of it, no, you know, some of it, blessing, some of it, deception. Um, did I know at the time? No, I wasn't well learned. I didn't understand um, the depthness of the deception, how deep it can go. Um, beings that are not from earth, the kind of technologies they have, the kind of things that they are able to portray, the kind of line, the, 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 I wasn't able, able to understand the different kinds of lion signs and wonders, um, that they were, that they were, that they are able to, to bring, um, to it at this time to deceive us. And you got to remember these beings have been around for a long, long, long time. You know, um, I mean, it was Satan seduced Eve in the garden. Then that tells you he was there before Eve because he knew of us, you know, he knew how to do that to her. Um, so that tells you right there that it was, um, that he was there before her. So how many other beings were there? How, what kind of techno technological advances, or, or let me say this, what kind, what did they know? What kind of stuff did they have back then? You know, um, because if he was able to do that to her, then he had to learn how to do that from somewhere. He had to have done that already. He had to been into some things already in the past that led him um, or that gave the enemy, the adversary, um, the ability to do that. All right. Um, but think about it. How many beings out there? Multitudes. It might be countless. What do they all know? How much? How much? Well, how advanced are they? Um, so when you think about stuff like that, it's it's like man, that was at least six thousand years ago. So it's able to when you when you think about it, you're able to understand that it's not you know like uh, like man, the last fifty, sixty years, seventy years where we or a hundred years where we came from horse and buggy to you know, people independently trying to send people to space, you know, um, entrepreneurs um, on space flights. I mean, come on, how much can you do in 6,000 years with the kind of information we know now um, as opposed to, you know, 100 years that just passed, you know? We just invented the car not too long ago, you know, 50, 60, 70, 80 years or something like that. Television, you know, computers and all that is spread around the world now. So imagine what, how much they, you know, how much other beings know that are out there. And when I, well, when I say this, people may say, oh, he believes in aliens. I believe it's demonic. All right. Um, so if you believe in UFOs and ships, I believe it's demonic. You know, not maybe, um, I don't want to go into detail about it. You know, um, I'm not saying that God can't send certain things because, I mean, he's God. Um, but I'm saying that. For you to be aware of the lying signs and wonders and those coming saying they are Christ and deceiving. You know, whether it be a ship, um, whether it be, I mean, you name it. 
other things that don't that aren't excuse me sorry about that um I'm trying to think of something uh dreams and visions what kind of technologies do they have to give dreams and visions to people um and how people believe them and then share them online like this and get others to believe in what they're saying be aware of the deceptions all right so you're not deceived so you're not out here thinking that you're listening to a person a being that's that's saying they're christ or they're jesus and they're not you can hurt yourself like that and you can hurt many other people all right and then with that could come a lot of lion signs and wonders um be aware of the corruption in the spirit realm you know um so when you have these dreams and visions this the spiritual encounters and different things like that or the supernatural be aware that they could be deceptions from these beings the demonic forces of darkness spiritual wickedness in high places to deceive you all right to throw you off and to have you lose your faith in jesus christ keep your faith in jesus christ and don't lose that hold on to it with everything you got all right if you don't got anything else remember to have faith in jesus christ because your mom can't save you dad can't save you friends can't save you brethren cannot save you presidents cannot save you militaries cannot save you churches and preachers and these type of things cannot save you only jesus christ the blood of Jesus, the Lamb who was slain. All right, remember that. Remember the name of Jesus. Rebuke him in the name of Jesus. The spirit, evil spirits, and all different kind of things, and have faith in Jesus Christ. Keep your faith. All right. Now let's get into the verse of scripture. Now it's basically to help you to not um, give heed to what's because I mean to the enemy because if you give heed to them, what ends up ha what can end up happening is you lose you lose um you can. You lose ground, all right. You invite them more and more into your life to bring more and more things that they that whatever they got going on into your life. Not only that, but they invite more demonic forces, more evil spirits, more of them into your life. You know, and look at Mark chapter five. There was so many problems with that individual that Jesus um had to deal with when he cast out those spirits out of him. He said. I think he said, my name is Legion, for we are many. And uh, I looked up what Legion is. It's over 6,000. All right, so be aware of that. 6,000 evil spirits and one man. All right, keep that in mind, y'all. And take heed to that fact. The more you pay attention to them, these people start hearing voices and talking back and talking to these things. Don't, don't do that. Because you can end up talking to the wrong, you know, talking to demons and talking to evil spirits and you end up with a whole bunch of stuff going on in your life you can't handle you can't deal with trying to juggle it all with your daily life you're trying to go to work and you're talking to evil spirits you know don't do that just stay focused on the word believe the gospel read the bible get away from all that other stuff that's out there in the world keep it simple all right luke 21 7 is what i want to read from today um i encourage you to turn to it um and follow along all right and they asked him, saying, Master, but when shall these things be, and what signs will there be when these things shall come to pass? And he said, Take heed that ye be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and the time draweth near. Go ye not therefore after them. All right, many will say that. And I believe they're demons. I believe they're demonic. Um, and even some people, some men say they're Christ. Um trying to deceive people but stay away from the from just be careful all right because you got there and this start happening jesus will come get you when, when it's time all right you ain't gonna be able to do nothing about it just have faith and believe but he gonna come get what belong you know what's his who he died for so have faith and believe but when ye shall hear of wars and commotions be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. A rapture going to happen now. All right? But remember, um, the war is in commotion. All right? Um, you see that happening now. China and India are into it right now. It's crazy out here. All right? Be careful about that. North Korea, Japan. Um, there's just so much going on. Um... Then let's continue. 
Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation. We see that now. And kingdom against kingdom. All right. I had a question about that part, but I won't go into it now. Um, my question was about um, kingdom against kingdom, meaning, uh, could that mean in the spirit realm? Because if there's princes and prince, I mean, prince and principalities, which is written in Ephesians 6, uh, you can read it in Ephesians 6, 12, I believe. But in Ephesians 6, 10 through 18, remember to read that daily. That's your full armor of God, your faith. Hold on to it in the Gospels. But, um... If there's princes and principalities, spiritual wickedness, and high places, and they obviously are part of kingdoms. Alright? Um, but look at it how you want. But I was thinking about that. Kingdom rise, nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. Does that mean spiritual kingdoms? Alright? Verse 11. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilences. And remember, China got that H7N9 virus going around killing um, people like crazy. So pray against that. All right, and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake, and they shall turn you for a testimony. Settle it in your hearts not to meditate, therefore what ye shall answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist all your enemies. Should not be able to resist it. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinfolk and friends, and some of you shall they cause to be put to death. Alright? So don't be careful who you trust out there. Family, friends, all these people, um, even pastors and preachers, teachers, evangelists, all kinds of things out there. Um, um, doctors, lawyers, I mean, you know, principals, all kinds of people in school. Um, other students, um, loved ones that you care about, you give somebody your heart. I said this before, and they, and, you know, they don't know what to do with it. You end up getting hurt and dying as a result. Be careful of that. And, and uh, in verse 17, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But there shall not a hair on your head perish. All right? And... I know that's contradictory in the way to verse six. to me it is to verse sixteen if if I read it a certain way, and if I if I didn't actually look in the concordance, but I believe that in verse eighteen it's actually referring to um, um you actually doing the killing or you um, causing one to perish, but there should not a hair on your head perish. So um, I would not. Kill. That's what it seemed like it's saying to me. Cause in verse sixteen it's saying um, that you that you could be put to death. They should cause something to be put to death. And then verse eighteen is saying, um, but there should not a head on your head perish. Some people may take that as saying I won't die, but that's not. Um, if you look in the concordance, it could mean. Um, be, it can mean put to death as well, or not, not, it's not saying that in the concordance put to death, but to me it seems like it's saying, let me read the concordance on the word perish, um, in verse 19, in your patience possess ye your souls, um, alright, be patient, and keep your soul, in the concordance for the word perish, real quick, it says, uh, to, de to destroy, alright, so there should not one head on your head, when it says perish, it's in the word perish, to destroy, to put out, and to weigh entirely, abolish, put an end to ruin, um, to kill, to declare that one must be put to death, to perish, to be lost, um, ruin, destroy, to destroy, to destroy, to lose. So you kind of see it. Um, so, yeah. So that's it. But there should not a hair on your head perish, so. You shall not kill. You don't don't do that. All right. So that's it. I love you, Jesus. Love you. He coming soon. Thanks for watching. As always, God bless you.